we came up to the hospital because it looks like Operation Baby is a go. Um, Whitney is dilated a few centimeters. And when I just got finished talking to her, she said that they are checking her in. So I think she's getting set up in a room. So looks like we might be having a baby today, y'all. Oh, you guys. So kind of didn't expect to be here today. <laughs> the third. But um, here we are. <laughs> We're in triage, actually. Not in like labor and delivery. And guys, I'm like so ready to get out of this little room. This is a pretty small room. Yeah, it's pretty disgusting too. <laughs> Like, don't look around too hard. That's it. It's pretty gross. Did you sweep the floor? Mom, sweet. Rem reminds me of a hotel I went to. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> I am. I am stressed. I just got up. I'm a ball of anxiety. Because this one, this ain't the same. Like, this is not like. There we go. This one ain't like the first one. The first one. Um, when we had Ash, like her water broke, I was asleep. She woke me up and was like, yeah, I think we need to get to the hospital. Uh, and they're telling me I need to go on down to get checked. And then it was like nobody here because it was like five in the morning, six in the morning. So we sat in the waiting room for a while, at least I did. And then went back and we did our thing. This time we come in, witness having contractions and they're like super close together especially when i'm comparing it to the first baby like she was having a contraction like it was like way apart oh man i would have probably left i would have just left and been like i can't do this like <laughs> i can't go to, i cannot work and do this i gotta i gotta get home but yeah it's been a day i got all kind of tightness in my neck like I, all that tension is like just in my neck like it's crazy yeah. but yeah I, I can't complain about nothing because this lady about to do some magic magical stuff so <laughs> but yeah so we here waiting to see if it's go time or not mm -hmm. but yeah so we'll keep y'all posted <laughs> Something is wrong with you. Get my good side. Don't wait. So I went and got the ball out of the car we got from home. And I actually had, I brought the pump so that I can pump it up. And then when I got it pumped up, I realized the plug was missing. So I had to like rig up this bootleg plug to try to keep the air in and witness on it one time and now it's like it looks like this so we're gonna try to figure this out because she really really needs this ball to get this thing going so we can get this baby out mine is set back but we'll figure it out <laughs> i'm just mad that the plug is not in this thing i don't know where it's at all right so good news we're about to be moved into a labor room so I'm packing up everything. Whitney's already being moved to the room and they're gonna come grab me. So I've been trying to pack everything up so that we can get out of here. We're back in a better room. I gotta, yeah. yeah, do some monitoring and then I can get up and move around and shower a deflated ball. We have our yeah, own, I, I told oh, you. Oh, you did. That. We have our own deflate gate. <laughs> pull ball. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh, they said do like some deep throaty sounds. Ooh. That ain't deep. Ooh. That ain't throaty. Oh. <laughs> Tensing up, we're gonna. Oh, that hurts so. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> Y'all, the clock is wrong. Like, why is this clock so wrong? <laughs> <laughs> 
It's so it's like we're in a vortex because I was in the other room and it said like almost twelve. Then I come in here and it said it's, almost it's nine. Twelve. I was like, what is happening? Yeah. We step back in time. I've been looking at my uh, friends sent me some of these like circuit, um, the mild circuit. I'm gonna try it. Our cousin tried it. She said that probably sent her into labor. <laughs> so I'm hoping it will help push baby further down, y'all. It's so, I think Nick even said it. It's so weird because this time my water didn't break. So I'm kind of like, what do I do? <laughs> I've not had this, and you know, sometimes they'll break your waters. I don't know if I want that. I don't know. We'll see. So, shout out to these sticky flows that we have. It's like we're walking in a movie theater. But here's where the baby's gonna be. So I'm claiming that in like maybe four to five hours we'll have a baby laying in this thing. I don't thing. know about four to five hours a whole baby, but. Four to five hours a whole baby in there. I don't even think I got a chance to show you guys the um, the nurse's treats that we made. Well, that I made, because I'm gonna take full credit for all of it. But somebody decided to leave the entire bag, the entire um, nurses and uh, everything treats at the front desk with everybody else's nurse, not just ours. And I'm like, that was not for them. I'm having a contraction. That wasn't for them. It was for our people. So this is frustrating because our people might not get anything. That's fun. He knows what he did. So it is day two. This is day two. Well, actually, day maybe three. just turn one. One day. One day. So. Okay. So this is day two of us being in the hospital. <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So. Oh, we hadn't said the baby name. So we finally came up with the baby name. We finally did decided. We, did we even tell them the gender? No. I don't think so. Okay, so everybody that was guessing, we had a girl. No. We had a girl. <laughs> and we had a, a hard time trying to figure out what the name would be. Oh, my goodness. But we finally, finally wrote it down. we make it official. It is Camille Elliot Marie Smith. So we 
We didn't use Lily, but I feel like Lily's going to be somehow her nickname because Whitney really likes that name. And this is our last one, so. It's I had to learn to compromise, you guys. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what we're doing. Um, it's been a it's been a pretty chill time like they just been coming in it seems like every hour checking the baby for something or checking Whitney and making sure everything's good um I will say this experience with Emory has been completely different than the last time well I won't say completely different but it's it's different yeah I would say like COVID protocols and things like that have made this experience a little bit different yeah like, like have, well when we're in our room and stuff we don't have to wear a mask and whatnot but um they would like us to have on a mask you know with the different people coming in and out and it's just that's a lot in and of itself and then just the wait time because everybody in georgia is having a baby this month one of us was able to get some decent sleep last night the other person had to stay up and breastfeed and answer questions and get poked and prodded and <laughs> everything so i'm ready to go home so <laughs> i don't have to experience that but um we probably won't leave until later tonight you guys hear baby girl <laughs> she's been doing really good she looks so much like ash oh my goodness like crazy <laughs> yeah they like twins so this is gonna be interesting to see how she starts to like develop develop and, and look like herself but mm -hmm. as a little newborn they the same kid yeah as a little bean little <laughs> nugget. yeah like the next video we'll do a birth story so that everybody that's curious because apparently people be really curious about that <laughs> so the next video we do will be a birth story where Whitney can sit down and just give all of what happened yeah, and how it was mama. it was different than ashes which had me super super anxious but yeah nick shared with me all of his anxiety <laughs> like uh was it like this morning or last it was night or yesterday something? yeah he shared with me all the anxiety that he had been having which is funny because the entire time he's been pretty nonchalant about everything <laughs> yeah, we'll fill y'all in on all of the story behind the birthing and everything on the next video and so we're gonna end this video with a little clip of camille so that y'all can see her and everything get to meet her get to meet her and until the next one um make sure you like the video subscribe if you haven't because like 98 percent of the people that watch these videos <laughs> Or not subscribe. Hit Stop. the notification bell. Yes, hit that bell so that you get notified when we have the videos. All you have to do is sign in. Just sign in to your account <laughs> when you watch the video, and that will help us out a lot. We'll talk to y'all later. We appreciate y'all. See you next time. Bye, guys. Hey. Everybody meet Camille Elliott Marie Smith. <laughs> you sound so country when you say it. <laughs> Look, she turned around like, that's my name. That's you. That's you, girl. <laughs> that's you, girlfriend. No. <laughs> it's so funny because, like, my mom was like, that name sounds so regal. And then Nick is like, Camille Elliot Marie. <laughs> <laughs> you got jokes. <laughs> But yeah, you guys, she's perfect. Feels just like her brother. Just like her brother. She's like, who? I have a brother? Yeah. You too. Well, we'll see y'all next time.